Hey, what's up guys? This is Scott for Sign 5 here reviewing my first pair of basketball shoes. These are the Adidas Commanders. So these are, as you can see, already really beat up. I've had these for quite a few years, so I think it's sufficient to say that it's time to review these. Just to be clear, I am reviewing their youth sizing, so the adult sizing may be a little different, and I'm pretty sure there's updates to this model, so this is, might be a little bit outdated. But for the most part, shoes don't change too much from year to year, so hopefully this is still applicable. So let's first go ahead and go over just the features. This is a mid-top basketball shoe, which means it still provides more ankle support without the constrictingness of a high-top basketball shoe. So the one I have here is the black and white colorway, but they do come in several other colors. Most of the shoe is made out of this synthetic leather material, so it's perforated also for it to be more breathable. And then on the bottom side, it has this shiny black uh, plasticky material that's helped to wick away any kind of water, say you're playing in a little bit more wet conditions outdoors. The tongue is mainly made out of this padded mesh material, so it's very breathable. And then the toe box is reinforced, so to protect your toe in case somebody steps on it. And then back in the rear, the heel cup is also heavily reinforced. Then taking a look at the inside, it has a non-removable insole, which provides a decent amount of padding. And again, the sides leading up to the heel are also heavily, heavily reinforced, as you can see how heavily padded it is. Personally, I think it's quite stylish with the three bars that Adidas logo offers, which is why I actually picked up in the first place. In terms of flexibility, this shoe has very, very little flexibility. That's because the outsole is actually very rugged and stiff. You can see the pattern is not very traditional. It has very few of that thin wafer design. Instead, it has these island pods everywhere and some variation, particularly in the torsional area. And then you have the pivot locations have that more wafer-like design. So what this design means is that it works pretty well in hard rough surfaces and because of the inner flexibility it provides that nice support. But then in the slicker indoor surfaces, maybe the, the floors aren't very clean I and mean, if you don't clean the bottom of your shoe very often, you'll tend to slip and slide. Then in terms of fit, I do believe these run pretty true to size. The toe box does offer ample space, so as your feet start to get hot and exercise, they tend to swell up, so it does provide ample room for that case, so I think that's a good thing. Though one thing I found out is that because I have low arches, I tend to form blisters in the midsection of my foot, so I definitely wouldn't recommend this shoe for those who have low arches or who have flat feet. So to wrap things up, who do I think this shoe is for? Well, I think it's definitely a primarily an outdoor baller shoe. So if you tend to play outdoors, this is good because it has that uh, water protection if you play in wet conditions. And it's also for people who want a more sturdy uh, mid-rise shoe. So it has a lot of padding. It's still very breathable despite all this padding. And it has a very stiff outsole. So it's not very flexible. It's not really my type of shoe. And it's also definitely not for people who have low arches. So if what I just said describes you, then I think this is a pretty safe pickup. It's reasonably priced and it's well made. Just note that it will take a little bit more of time than most basketball shoes to break in. But other than that, you can check out the link in the description if you're interested. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like. You'd be greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe to my channel, Skyforce95, if you haven't already, to get more content like this. Or if you're watching this on Amazon, head over to my channel URL right here, or just search it up on YouTube, Skyforce95. There you'll see a bunch of my product reviews and unboxings. Feel free to browse, or if you want to search for something specific, just hit that search field. That'll do it for this video. This is Skyforce95. Thanks for watching.